In the tranquility of our surroundings, we often forget the storms that life can bring. Just as the serene stillness of a calm sea can swiftly transform into a tempest, our lives too can shift from peace to turmoil in a blink. It's a universal truth, isn't it? The ebb and flow of life's tides, the highs and lows, the joy and pain, they are as inevitable as the changing seasons. Life in its infinite wisdom has a way of catching us off guard. It's a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. One moment you're basking under the warm glow of the summer sun, and the next you're navigating through the biting cold of winter. These challenges, these storms, they come without a warning, leaving us scrambling for shelter. But what if I told you there's a way to weather these storms? Not by avoiding them, but by facing them head on with a fortitude that is born from within. This is where the concept of spiritual resilience comes into play. It's about harnessing that innate strength that we all possess. A strength that often lies dormant until the winds of adversity begin to blow. Spiritual resilience is not about evading the storm, but learning to dance in the rain. It's about understanding that the rain is as much a part of life as the rainbow that follows. The storms of life may be fierce, they may be relentless, but they are never everlasting. They come and they go, but it's what we do during these storms that shapes us, molds us, and ultimately defines us. At this point, you might find yourself questioning, can I navigate through these rough waters alone? Is there a beacon of light that could guide me through the darkest hours? In the deafening silence of the storm, we often find ourselves yearning for a helping hand, a divine intervention, a greater power. In the face of these trials, we might wonder if there's a greater power that could aid us. And as we delve deeper into this journey, we will explore this idea further, inviting the possibility of divine intervention into our lives, because sometimes all we need is a little faith to turn the storm into a symphony. Where life's difficulties can feel overwhelming, like tempests tossing us about. It's a reality we all face, isn't it? The storms of life that come in various forms and magnitudes, the personal trials that leave us feeling emotionally drained, like the loss of a loved one, a broken relationship, or a personal failure. These are the times when we question ourselves, our worth, and even our purpose. Then there are professional hurdles, the job that was lost, the promotion that slipped away, the business venture that failed. These challenges can leave us feeling inadequate, questioning our abilities and doubting our worth. It's a bitter pill to swallow, isn't it? And let's not forget the emotional battles, the struggle with depression, anxiety, loneliness or low self-esteem. These invisible enemies can be the hardest to fight because they dwell within us, often unseen by others, yet they have the power to paralyze us and rob us of our joy and peace. These difficulties, my friends, can make us feel like we are walking alone through a desolate wilderness with no end in sight. They can make us feel helpless, like a ship adrift in a stormy sea, battered by the waves and at the mercy of the elements. It's a place of fear, uncertainty and despair. But what if I told you that you're not alone in this struggle? What if I told you that there's someone who wants to walk with you through this storm to provide comfort, strength, and guidance. This is not about a fair-weather friend who disappears at the first sign of trouble, but a steadfast companion who stays by your side, even in the darkest hour. In these moments of despair, have we ever considered inviting God into our difficulties? God, the ultimate source of strength, hope and love, is waiting to be invited into your storm, ready to bring peace to your chaos, hope to your despair, and light to your darkest hour. So, why not invite him in? How might our struggles change if we invited a higher power into our lives? Picture this, you're in the midst of a storm, the waves are crashing around you, and you feel overwhelmed, isolated. It's in these moments that the concept of inviting God into our difficulties can become a beacon of hope. But what does it mean to invite God into our difficulties? It's not a magic spell that instantly dispels all our problems, rather, it's a conscious decision to allow a higher power to guide us, to provide comfort, and to give us strength during our toughest times. It's acknowledging that our human capabilities have limitations and that there's a divine power that transcends these boundaries. So, how do we invite God in? It starts with a simple, heartfelt prayer. A conversation with the divine where we lay bare our struggles, our fears, our doubts. We ask for guidance, for wisdom, for strength. 
It's not about asking God to do the hard work for us, but rather seeking his guidance to navigate through our difficulties. But inviting God into our difficulties doesn't stop at prayer. It's also about opening our hearts and minds to his presence in our daily lives. It's about recognizing the signs of his guidance, the whispers of his wisdom, the touch of his comfort. It's about allowing his love to penetrate our hearts, to fill us with hope and courage. Inviting God into our difficulties also means trusting in his timing. It's about understanding that our timetable may not align with his. We may want immediate relief, but God knows what we need and when we need it. It's about having faith that he is working behind the scenes, orchestrating events for our highest good. This concept of inviting God into our difficulties is not a quick fix, it's a journey, a process that requires patience, faith and surrender. But the rewards are immeasurable, because when we invite God into our difficulties, we're not just gaining a divine ally, we're also unlocking a deeper level of spiritual growth. Inviting God into our difficulties doesn't mean the storms will cease, but it does mean we won't have to weather them alone. Faith, it's like a small beacon of light in a dark storm. In the tumultuous sea of life, faith can serve as our anchor, a stalwart companion in the face of gale force winds and towering waves. Faith is more than a mere belief. It's a profound trust, an unwavering confidence in the unseen, in the divine. It's the silent whisper in your heart that says, even though I can't see the way, I know there is a way. It's the conviction that no matter how dark the night, dawn will eventually break. Now imagine a life without faith. It's like venturing into a dense forest with no torchlight, stumbling in the dark with no sense of direction. But with faith, that forest becomes less daunting. The path may still be unclear, but the light of faith illuminates your steps, guiding you towards the right direction. Faith is not the absence of difficulties, but the courage to face them head on. It's the strength to endure the storm, not because you are not afraid, but because you believe in a power that's greater than the storm. It's the resilience to keep going, even when you're exhausted, because you trust that there is a divine purpose behind the struggle. Faith transforms our perspective. It turns obstacles into opportunities, trials into triumphs, and hardships into stepping stones. It's the light that shines in the darkness, revealing the silver lining in every cloud. It's the hope that sings the melody of future, even when the present seems out of tune. Faith is not a magic wand that banishes all troubles. It doesn't promise an easy journey, but it does assure us that we won't have to walk alone. It provides us with the strength to endure, the courage to persevere, and the hope to keep believing. Faith is like a small beacon of light in a dark storm, a glimmer of hope in a sea of despair. It's the voice that whispers, you can do this. You are not alone. This too shall pass. With faith, even the wildest of storms can be weathered. Because when we have faith, we have everything. In the calm and in the storm, inviting God into our difficulties can make a world of difference. As we draw the curtains on this enlightening journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've explored together. We began by acknowledging the universal truth that life can be tough, filled with trials and tribulations. Difficulties are an inevitable part of our journey, like gusts of wind that threaten to topple us. But remember, each storm is an opportunity to become stronger, to learn and to grow. We then delved into the idea of inviting God into these difficulties. This isn't about shifting responsibility or hoping for a magical solution to our problems. Rather, it's about seeking divine guidance and strength in our darkest hours. It's about opening our hearts to a force greater than ourselves, a force that can bring peace amidst chaos, light in the face of darkness, and hope when all seems lost. Next, we explored the power of faith. The strength of our belief can be a potent force, a beacon of light that guides us through the stormy seas of life. Faith isn't just about believing in God, it's about believing that we are never alone in our struggles. It's about trusting that there is a divine plan, a greater purpose behind every challenge we face. Faith is the anchor that keeps us grounded when the winds of adversity blow. It's the compass that guides us when we lose our way. It's the shield that protects us when we are under attack. And it's the rope that we can hold onto to pull ourselves out of the deepest abyss. So as the winds howl and the waves crash, remember, you don't have to face the storm alone. Invite God into your difficulties. 
and watch the tides of change begin to turn. No matter how fierce the storm, no matter how high the waves, remember that you are not alone. You are stronger than you think, and with faith as your guiding light, you can navigate through any storm.